We're being taken into the mangroves along Mombasa's coast. This is an environmental success story. What man destroyed, man is now restoring, and the local community is leading the way. The creek, when we were young, it was fully, it was a full forest. You were even scared to go by yourself. Ali Mohammed is a community leader and part of the ongoing mangrove restoration project. He tells us logging of the mangroves over the years had a severe impact. Mangrove wood is hardy, good for building homes and burning firewood. We saw the degradation and the food scarcity. We could not get fish, we could not get prawns. We decided to start to restore it again. 55,000 mangrove trees were planted here in July, we're told. And on the day we visit, more young ones are being delivered. Mangroves aren't only crucial at a community level, their impact is much wider. In fact, the mangroves here in Kenya affect you too. They play a very critical role, especially when it comes to climate change mitigation, because they have a capacity to capture at most 10 times carbon than any other ecosystem can sequester. Back on land. So we're now being taken to another way that the community gets income from the forest, but it's also being described to us as the forest security, the army of the forest. Let's take a look. An army of bees. Introduced a few years ago, they're making more of a difference than just creating jobs. We're told 80% of the logging has stopped. When you go and destroy the forest and the bees are there, they'll chase you away, they'll sting you. So people know they are forest, they are forest securities, and that's our bees. Us, we act as scouts, but bees are there 24-7. Protecting and growing, this mangrove forest is a community effort. In the name of food security and job creation, a crucial realization that by taking care of nature, it gives so much more back. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, Mombasa, Kenya. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.